Uh, so, we just want to say good morning, good afternoon, and good night. We're back for another day. You can enjoy us anytime. We have ten amazing fun facts for you today that we want to share with you about your bones. That's right. <laughs> I'm excited, John. John Jacob Jingle Hammer Schmidt. Uh, what? What? Uh, ten amazing facts about your bones. That's the, the white bones. things inside your body that help you move and squeeze things. That works. And muscles. So, number one, we have a hiccup. <laughs> we have humans are natural. Blah, blah, hum, humans are natural with 300 bones in their corpse. Wow, why do we get to talk about us like we're dead? However, though, when a human being reaches maturity, which is you probably haven't reached yet, uh, <laughs> they only contain 600. Yeah, 600. <laughs> 206 <laughs> bones total. So, wow, I mean, we lose almost 100 bones. By the time we, we uh, reach maturity, this occurs because a lot of them connect together to create one single bone. Though, so technically we didn't lose them. They Is just... that how some people are double, double jointed and stuff? Maybe, possibly, possibly because really? they have the two bones or didn't come together quite right or something. Very well could be. Huh. Uh, we have to look into that. All right. <clears throat> Number two, we have the majority of the bones in the body are in the hand. The phalanges. Let's see here. There are 54 bones counted in counting in the wrist. Holy hell. The bottom has 26 and the face has 14. Wow. The greatest bones in your body are the femur. Is around a quarter of your height. That's about right. That's Sounds legit. Boop. Right? Sounds legit. Uh, the least is the Stapies. staples. Stapes. Stapes, in your, Stapes ear. in your ear. Okay, so in your ear, your ear bone. It's the smallest bone in your body. Right. Which is around one tenth of an inch. About half the size so, of my penis. Really? Okay, anyway, go at, least, on. at least you're happy. Okay. <laughs> the uh, number three is the only full grown. <laughs> anyway, go, mm -hmm. go. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. only <laughs> bone full grown at birth in. <laughs> What? Really? Is that what they started out with? Yeah. Like, Here's my picture. It's just nothing, nothing else. It had to grow first. It was just so big. Uh, at birth is situated in the ear. So the minimum bone in a human corpse is the stapes bone, blah, blah, blah. We already know. Why do we keep calling it a corpse? We're going to change that to like something else. I don't want to be called a corpse. I want to be a corpse. Okay. I'll make it could you. Be a, I'll make you. It a could be a later. Halloween. It could be a Halloween thing. We're not really, you know, going into that. Adult human bones are responsible for fourteen percent of their whole body weight. So even though the outside of the bones are firm, they are usually light and spongy inside. They are, as regards, seventy-five percent water. Whoa! Did you know that? I knew they were light, and actually knew that they took up 14% of your body weight. Really? I just didn't know that they were 75% water, I guess. Hmm. See, I always thought it was just because they, they, it wasn't the water. It was more or less just um, the inside of it. What is that called again? The marrow. Yeah, the marrow. That's it. Okay, number five. What would take place if humans didn't have bones? <laughs> well, this sounds interesting. <clears throat> Uh, see so your bones have two roles. A few, like your backbone, give the arrangement which allows you to stand up straight. Uh, so you're instead of lying down <laughs> like a lake on the ground, <laughs> other bones defend, <laughs> defend the fraggle, fraggle, fragile, fragile, Shh, don't, don't correct me. And sometimes pliable. And sometimes pliable inside of your body. Inside of your body. Insides. Okay. Your head, a sequence of fused bones, act like a firm defense helmet for your mind. Let's see here. This says here, a human bone, especially the femur, is about four times longer, or four times stronger than concrete. A cubic inch of bone can bear a load of 
of 19,000 pounds, your femur. Wow. Holy shit. I think we have potential. Very well, especially the people that actually do like the martial arts and like train themselves. Well, they have, that's not with like, the femur, that's the slower part. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, even with their hands and their fists and all, then like they're basically beating the shit out of their bones and making them harder. Uh, let's see here. See, so your largest organ in the human body is skin. Each person will shed nearly 40 pounds of it in your lifetime. Oh, wow. Wow. I just want to like, stay hauled up in a room my entire life and like collect like, all of it. Where is it? Uh, let's see here. You go to sleep and wake up to two different sizes, being the tallest right after you go to bed, and then throughout the day you shrink. And weighing down by the forces of gravity is what causes you to shrink during the day. Wow. So you're always taller whenever you go to bed and you wake up. When you wake up, you're taller. And when yes. you go to bed, you're shorter. Yep. So, if you want to get measured for your driver's license or whatever, you need just to go wake up in the morning. Yes, if you want to be taller, put it that way. Yes. If you want to be like, I am amazingly tall right now, when in which case you're already amazingly tall. Don't so. listen to me, guys. I'm only five foot one. <laughs> yeah, don't don't let that surprise. I <laughs> don't let that surprise. I know, I know. How many bones do human do humans contain? Let's see here. You know, they just said that. Why the f would they have... Let's see here. It says, once we were born with 300... Looks like blah, we blah, have blah. nine interesting facts <laughs> for you Apparently, my bones move. You require muscles to drag on bones so that you can move about. All along with the muscles and joints. Bones are accountable for you being capable to move. Your muscles are, connected, are connecting to bones when muscles uh, narrows... Yeah, when muscles narrows, the bones to which they are connected act like levers and reason diverse body parts. So this is very complex. Yes, this is just fucking amazing. Oh god, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of. Oh, we're we're like in sync almost. I'm not the band. Oh, anyway, number eight. Your bones are living. Are they now? Absolutely, bones are made of the blend of firm material that gives them power and tons of living cells, which against them raise and revamp themselves. Like supplementary cells in your body, the bone cells rely on blood to stay them living. If bones weren't prepared, uh, <laughs> prepared to living cells, things like busted toes or arms would not mend themselves. Uh, but don't agonize anymore. <laughs> yes, I wasn't gonna say that actually. Oh, that's what I was. <laughs> that is just your bone cells regrowing, the correct and restored. Uh, let's hear number nine: bone marrow. Many bones bone are void. Marrow. Their empty space makes bones muscular and light. Why can't we fly then? <laughs> I'm just saying, like Why birds. Why can't we fly? <laughs> Well, because everything else weighs so much. Yeah, true. It's in the middle of the bones that bone marrow creates novel red and white blood cells. Red blood cells make sure that oxygen is spread to all your divisions of your body. And white blood cells make sure that you are capable to battle microorganisms and illnesses. The interesting facts about bones is that... Who would have considered that bones create blood? That's interesting. I do not I mean, know. Yeah, even at, even at that, but you know, if you didn't know about it, that's pretty cool. I mean, oh well, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Number ten. All critter, all critters have a spinal col column. Uh, no. But why even put it in there? Like anyway. In fact, various 97% of critters on ground do not have a spinal, spinal or back. Amazingly enough, all in individuals that do have a spinal column, there is a lot of resemblance uh, with a skull neighboring a brain, a rib cage adjacent to a heart, and a jawbone or mouth gape. Dab. Yep. 
So yeah, there you go. A little bit of information about the uh, the bones, them bones, them bones, them them bones. And I think that'll be pretty much it tonight. Unless you want to say something, we'll talk about something. This game's to be a lot shorter than it was, but then again, we're not oh, doing no. fifteen instead of you know we're doing ten instead of fifteen. But anyway, anything else you can think of, maybe? Well, we've learned from. Experience that bones make good weapons as well. So, if you ever uh, find yourself in need of a weapon, feel free to Break rip your, leg, your off. leg off and <laughs> beat someone with it. It will be effective, and you might live. An amazing club, you might say. Yes. Uh, I think we'll just end it there. Yeah, we're good with that. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna say thank you, uh, like, subscribe, and. Uh, our content will become more, <laughs> more extensive. Hopefully, become more later. extensive, more, more better along, along the lines as, as we go on. But we'd like to thank you for watching, and we want to say good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Cha 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 cha. Symbolism by the clouds.